As a reference for future guides, this is a video on how to get the compass in Subnautica Below Zero. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. For this guide, you'll need a scanner, but I highly recommend you have the standard O2 tank and the Sea Glide as well to save yourself some time. This guide is best followed during the day. Okay, we're going to use this massive, almost mouth-like looking rock with teeth as a point of reference. We're going to face the other way with these smaller islands and then head for the massive iceberg island we can see right there. Don't worry about missing it, just go in that general direction and you should be fine. Along the way, you won't really encounter many scary enemies, but you might come across the little fish that frees you. Just keep swimming forward and you should be fine, especially if you have a sea glide. The sea glide makes this much easier and it's definitely something you want to get straight away. If you can't find it for whatever reason, use the coordinates on screen, which you can open up on PC by pressing F1. And there we have it. As soon as you can see the robot arm, you're good to go. Click on the data box to get the beacon, and you have to use your scanner to actually scan the Pathfinder tool to get both the Pathfinder tool and the compass. You do this by following around the little light until you actually see on the seabed floor, then you scan it and you'll have both. To then craft the compass, you're going to need two pieces of copper and two pieces of silver. You're going to make a copper wire and a wiring kit. This will allow you to craft the compass. You can find silver from Argentine outcrops, which you can find anywhere in and deeper than the Arctic kelp biome. I found quite a bit in the Arctic kelp forest caves. To create the Pathfinder tool, you'll need a creepfine cluster, one piece of titanium, and one battery. If it helped, be sure to leave a like down below. Peace.